Some might call her the hero behind the lens, a mother, a spy, and a talented photographer. She was one of the biggest of the highest degree specialist in photographing business. And we need her spe special uh, knowledge that we could do secret work. And uh, with her ability, we could uh, develop very good things. In the 1950s, Sara Eyal was not only a great asset to Israel's Mossad intelligence agency, but her exclusive images still enter our minds today. She was a very ambitious woman, even though she was very quiet. And she really trusted the power of women. I didn't realize how much influence she had on me, even though she was really, really quiet. One of Sarah's granddaughters and her only daughter were among the 100 people who gathered in a Jerusalem gallery to celebrate her artistic work. The pictures she snapped in her spare time. Her name emerging years after her death. Sarah Eyal's camera captured life in a young Israel, just beginning to define itself. All of a sudden, there were these black and white moments frozen in time, including letters that she had written to various magazines, including her own memoirs. So for us, it was a story that we thought had tremendous potential. She did something which showed in a very instantaneous way the way that she viewed Israeli life, lovers, uh, death, uh, things that happened in the park. It just, she brings to life a period in Israel that's very important to see from such a personal perspective. Some 60 years later, the public is granted a view of Israel, unseen since its youth. Sara snapped thousands of photos in her spare time. Traces of her covert work appear in her pictures. Photos taken from afar, the subject often unaware. While the public enjoys her pictures, her family remembers the woman behind the lens. Growing up with my mother was an experience in itself. Uh, mother or mommy uh, was a very special lady, very, very special in her way of expression. I will never forget what, what people told me about her, how, how courageous she was and how she kept her calm even at the hardest moments. There are no things like that today. Described as a humble woman, in her life, Sarah remained as mysterious as her archived photos. Here's a woman that escaped the Holocaust, where most of her relatives were murdered, her immediate family were murdered in the camps. And she escaped to pre-war Palestine. She lived here, and she actually lived hiding behind a camera. Just this year, the government passed a new regulation on closed archives meaning we may not see Sarah's professional photos for another 90 years. I hope my kids, our grandkids maybe, will, will dig into it. At least I would give them the initiative to do that so that they could find out more. I'm sure they can.